This is the plaintiff, Jasmine Amaya. She says she rented a room and a house from the defendant and says the crazy woman wanted her out to get a friend in. That's right, she tried to stab her with a knife, threw dishes at her door and damaged a lot of her personal items. Well, she's not going to allow this woman to get away with abusing her the way she did. And she's suing her for $10,000, the amount she's owed. This is the defendant, Alexandra Denig. She says she never damaged this woman's art or furniture or ever threatened her in any way. The only reason she's suing her today in court is because she's desperate for money. And all the problems this woman has are her own doing. Oh, her? Ha! She's accused of going on a rampage. All parties, please get your right hand. You see it, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, okay, Ms. Amaya, yes. you were suing your former roommate, housemate, not roommate, right? Housemate. Ms. Denig? Yes. For 10 grand in damages and mental anguish that you say you have incurred as a result of her conduct. Tell me what's going on. Uh, well, basically, I was living uh, in this room in a house, and my room's the biggest one. And so I heard her and a friend say, like, oh, you should move her out so I can move in. And ever Okay, since... so let's back up a second. How long had you been living in the house? Since 2017, October. Okay, and how did you end up living in the house? Did you read a Craigslist ad? Or uh, what? Well, we have a lot of mutual friends, and there's this Facebook group that's, like, only exclusive. And I saw that there was a room for rent, and I knew some of the people that were involved in this house, because a lot of people lived in this house. How many? Five people. Five people living in the house. Yes. That one. Who had, was there, like, a master lease? I was the leaseholder. You were the only leaseholder. Yeah, we were actually not supposed to have any subtenants. You're not supposed to have subtenants. All right, so what happens? You move in in 20 what? 2017. Okay, is this a therapy dog? Uh, yes. Okay, and you move in in 2017 and then what happens? Uh, well, things were really good and uh, we were even friends, we were hanging out and everything, but this one uh, girl, Siva, came to move in and everything kind of just like got ruined. I don't know, it just fell apart. How so? Uh, well, because my room's in the kitchen, so uh, even... In the kitchen? Well, my room's, like, where the kitchen is. Off of is. the kitchen, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, like, even if I have the TV on and stuff, I can hear everyone when they open the fridge, and I just heard Siva saying, like, oh, it's your house, you should raise the rent on them, and you should, you know, kick this girl out, and you should do this and do that. And, you know, Ali, she was even hesitant at first. She wasn't stoked about or anything, but then she ended up acting upon that, and one day... How, how did she act upon that? Well, one day I went to go get like toilet paper and I went to get all these necessities for the house and I went to clean the bathroom and the kitchen and I left like a note saying that I was grateful to live there and Allie tore it up and she said, I don't like your attitude, get out of here. And so they, they okay, started- that, that, wait, wait. A note that says I'm grateful to live here doesn't cause somebody to, to rip it up. Was there a problem between you and Allie that- uh, I mean, she's been like acting like she's my friend to my face. But uh, I heard that she's just been hating me. She's been hating uh, me. Okay, no can you give me specifics, though? Like, what did she say to you that caused you to believe that? Well, she said she didn't like my attitude, even though I don't really see her. But also, like, uh, there'd be times at 6 in the morning she would throw dishes around and, like, yell things at my door. Like, like what? Like, oh, I'd kill myself if I was your mom, I, if I had kids like you, and, like, I hope you're... What was she... Were there your dishes that you had left? No, Is that she what just has this thing about dishes. I don't know she gets really crazy, but since my room's right there... She kind of takes it out on me, and so right, I... Right, but were those dishes that you had left? Is that what I, you're... I have never... See, that would make sense to me. That's why I'm asking, but otherwise it doesn't no, make any sense. I have never used a single dish in that kitchen. I don't use the kitchen. I want to turn the kitchen to a gym, because I, I do not use the kitchen. I've never cooked in my life. Okay. So, like, I absolutely do not... And that's why it made right, even so then less what sense. goes... Okay, so it's... So, so it's descending into a very uncomfortable situation, and then what happens? Well... And then Allie started being really aggressive to me. And so, like, I watch other people's dogs and everything. And so one time there was these clients that came over to drop off their dogs. And Allie aggressively was like, where's the rent money? And she just called me the B word, like, really aggressively in front of those people. And I was just like, oh, my God, this is awful. What day of the month was it? Um, that was probably about, it was probably, like, May 1st. It was or the it was day probably, rent was due? It was probably, like, April 29th-ish. So it was 29 days after rent was due? Or no, it was no, the day no. before I, rent was due? It was the day due? before rent was due, but what happened was there was, a, there was a huge leak in my room. I mean, like the shower, it's a huge bubble of water, and it went into the smoke alarm, and so the smoke alarm started going crazy, and it had been doing that for like a week, and then eventually the smoke alarm started just popping like a firecracker, and it almost caused a fire, and like my shoes got ruined because of the water, and a bunch of stuff got ruined for the water, 
So when I went to court, they said, you can withhold your rent, you qualify, you know, this seems legit. Okay, stop, 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 stop. When you went to court against whom? Against like the, the landlord for, because Except he, for that you're not even appropriately on the lease. So you can, you. Well, I guess I told Allie first and then I didn't know. I know, your contract is with Allie. You've never met the landlord. Well, see, In but, other words, you, you would have to withhold rent from her. Well, and, okay. and sue her in court. Where did you go to court? Landlord tenant court? Yes. Okay. The reason why I didn't go directly to Allie was because a couple days before that, I was waking up early to get in the shower and I had unlocked my door and she walked in as I was undressing and she was like, do you have the rent? Do you find a new place to live? And I was like, half naked. And I was like, what the hell? And so I was like, yes, or just leave me alone for a minute. It was like early in the morning, six or seven in the morning. And then she left. And so I was like, God, this is like really awful. And so that's why I couldn't, uh, when it started, then it started Who leaking. told you you could live there and not pay rent? The housing department told me that. Okay, so when was the last time you contributed towards the rent that she is responsible for paying? April 1st. Okay, but is there a disagreement about that or is, was it April 1st the last time? She had been consistently late or short on rent, had paid no utilities for about six months. That's um, false. In May, we asked her to pay rent. The incident she's citing, I did not go into her room. She came out into okay, the no, kitchen. Okay, no, 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 no. I asked one question. Are we on the same page about what rent she, when no, she stopped No, she's been withholding rent. rent. Okay, when, when was the last time she paid rent? April? Yes. And her share is how much? $700. Okay, now, let's talk about what you say happened. At some point in May, according to you, there is destruction of your personal property. May 5th. What happened? Well, uh, she had been wanting me off the property so badly, and I had not seen a, an eviction notice of any sort. I didn't see anything filed from the court. It was just her being aggressively wanting me out. So um, on May 31st, she came knocking on my door, and she started um, saying, oh, I know you're in there, and she went to go get different things to open the door, and then eventually she had, like, a knife, and she had, I have uh, pictures here. Of the damages. Just keep, keep telling me she, she got a knife and what? Okay, and I was scared, so I was texting everybody in the house, like, come down here right now. She's at my door. Come down here right now. I was terrified. I was in my bed, like, pretending to be asleep because I was shaking. And no one was home, and I was like, can you please come downstairs? And so I was texting my friends. Did you call the police? Well, no, because I was like... Okay, so what happened then? She picked um, the lock with the eventually knife? Eventually, one of the roommates, Matt, he was coming home because he was like, I'm on the way home. And so when he came in there... I was like, this is crazy, I'm scared, I don't know what to do. But all he was worried about was his money and his eviction. And I was like, I'm sorry, can you just tell me what happens with the knife picking? What happened? That's Did she it. get in? She, she went back to the living Did room. Did she get in? No, she didn't get okay, in. Okay, so she got a knife and then she started trying to pick the lock? Yes, over and, and over And then she didn't get in? No, she didn't get in. Okay, and then what happens? When I was texting the other housemates, Matt came home and he came inside and I was like, this is really crazy, this is scary. And uh, he wasn't really paying attention to what I was saying. So the next morning, uh, I was getting a text from the other housemate, Lee, and they were like, oh, we're going to force you off the property today. And uh, and I said, I was scared, so I was like, I'm just going to call the cops. So I called the cops. Are you still living there? No. Okay. So now we're in the beginning of May. You're calling the cops, and what happens? Well, the cops suggested that I go and get a restraining order because uh, I said I kept, they kept, you know, trying to get me out of there, and they kept uh, harassing me, basically. On what grounds were you going to get a restraining order? Um, on the fact that she was slamming doors in my face, that she was That's like, a restra That's restraining order worthy? I no, got news she was you. at my so door. So what happened? Did you get a restraining order? I did. That's amazing. Temporary. Did you try to get in there with a knife? No. I knocked on her door to ask her for rent, and I didn't even know if she was home, because she hadn't said anything. What was the deal about the dishes? Um, the dishes were like, that has nothing to do with her. Sometimes I would get up, and the kitchen would be trashed, and I'd be like, Oh my God, dishes. You know, it had nothing to do with her. Half the time, I didn't even know if she was because there. Because other people in the house were leaving dishes in yeah, the sink? Yeah, it was a trash pit. We had five people living there, you know. It's like, what can you do? Not live with five people who are pigs. Oh, I'm not doing it anymore. Right. <laughs> Trust me. That's not what you can this. do. <laughs> in any event, so now, according to you, on May, we're, I guess we're now around the first week in May. Mm -hmm. What happens? According to you, there's a bunch of destruction of your property. Tell me about that. Well, okay, because... I wasn't unlocking my door. I heard them going, them as in uh, Allie and one other housemate, going around nitpicking at all my things. And they what uh, is nitpicking at your? Oh, uh, just like finding whatever it has to do with me around the house and either tossing it out or putting it in the trash or because I I'm an artist and I do uh, like large scale cartoon paintings, and I put them in the hallway so they don't get messed up because I had sold them, and I was going to get them framed uh, right after my art show. 
which is like in a few months. And so she went and tore them off, and I guess she wrinkled. What, did you sell them, or you were going to get them framed a few months from now? I sold them, but they were letting me wait till the art show to give them to them, because I still had to get them framed. My Can art. I, do you have proof of payment? Yes, I do. Did something happen to those paintings? Yes, Ali um, ripped them, and she wrinkled them, and she put them in the trash. But I have a statement from another housemate saying that they told her to get them out of the trash. But they May are, I see the statement? Yes. It's the one that's like a hard stock. Uh, this is a statement that I, Tiffany Mahan, was living in the house when I personally witnessed one occasion in the house right after Ali Denning had destroyed Jasmine's paintings. I woke up to a house meeting in which Lee, another housemate, was telling Ali to go get the paintings out of the trash. Do you remember that discussion mm -hmm. and that meeting? Had you put her Beavis and Butthead, um, big fan, by the way, had right. you put her Beavis and Butthead paintings inside of the trash? So the paintings that she's describing had been hanging in a public hallway. One of the paintings that she's describing had been hanging behind the washing machine for over a year. They were taped together, printer paper taped together, marker drawings that had been hanging in a public place. That was where people passed through to go to the kitchen. We parked bikes there. We like, you know, it was a public area. She voluntarily. Yeah, that still doesn't give you a right to rip them off the wall. I took them down and rolled them up, and we gave them back to her. Okay, I've got a picture of how you took them down and rolled them up. That's not. I did not do that. Okay. She caused that. All we right, rolled them you, up and gave them back to her. All right. Do you have any proof of how you? But so you understand when you're taking them down, and she says this is how they were, and there's another witness saying that she had destroyed her, your paintings. That's not I'm, true. Not, I'm not inclined to believe you carefully rolled them up. Plus, you know, if you're sharing a house with somebody, just don't touch them because this is going to become an issue, you right. know? Tell me about what you're suing for. Bart Simpson painting, Bullwinkle painting, couch stool, couch, office chair, fan, paper trimmer, oh. laser, $1,200 for a color laser printer and it's cartridge. A really uh, big one. $2,800 for artwork materials that were used in the paintings that were destroyed. So apparently you spend $3,000 uh, of paint to, um, for paintings that are worth a thousand something. Uh, 1350 for classes, because you withdrew from classes because you're so upset. Uh, and another 2000 for emotional trauma. You're going to have to justify all that. Sweetheart. Well, see, the whole thing with my classes is that one of my classes was piano. And it's not like I can study the night before. I have to actually sit there and play the piano for a long time. And I was just getting so behind that I just had I, I had to drop my classes. That was like my. How's favorite. that her fault? And how should she pay for your classes? Because here? she kept coming to in un, you know uninvitedly, and she kept like I was just so stressed out. I was going to the courthouses all the time, and I was like I'm gonna have to drop my classes because Allie's just so scary. All right, now tell me about one other alternative is just leave, right? Well, during this time I was still looking for a place to live, but since I have a dog, serviced or not. People, uh, well, not service or not. You're from California. You have a service dog. I know. In the worst of states, you would be able to move in with a service dog. In California, the, the dog could move in and not pay rent. So please don't tell me, <laughs> well, oh, it's so hard because I have a service dog. A lot dog. of people right. don't want to live with my dog. And it's like, if they're trying to use that against me, even though he's service, why would I want to live somewhere who doesn't want to live with my dog? Mm -hmm. All right. So now talk to me about the damaged stuff. Well, I have this guy. Uh, he was commissioning me to do the Bullwinkle painting. And I have the printouts of the conversation. And so uh, he obviously is not going to get that painting. And also, I'm sorry. I, what happened to the painting? Well, that was one of the ones that she ripped. I had I had several paintings in the hallway. Okay. And she had ripped off a few paintings. Like I mean, the okay. A do you have a picture of those paintings yes, ruined? Yes, I do. And why are you taking them down to begin with? They caused um, massive damage to the walls and the way she hung them. Um, we were trying to repaint the hallway so that if we, in the in the event that we did move out, the landlord wouldn't seek like any type of financial compensation for the walls being damaged. So I had to repaint the walls. But then you put them in the trash. We actually did not trash them. I believe that the evidence she's showing you is falsified. Um, I rolled them up and we gave them back to her. I really gave them back to her how? Where? We placed them in the hallway for her to pick up. They were in like a storage area in the hallway. We just rolled them up and she was able to come. Are get all them. of the paintings on paper? They're on like printout, like this type of paper, oh, wait, like taped together. Packet. It's in that same packet. So it's really big. A lot of paint goes into those because I have a lot of tiny little paints. Okay, were they uh, rolled up in a hallway? Uh, she had put them on the stairs. I don't know, I guess when she okay, put- Okay, were all the paintings on the stairs? 
Not all of them. I had to Which find the uh, I uh, the Bart Simpson one was folded up in the back and outside. Okay. And some of them was, they were in the backyard. Do Just, you have any pictures of how the Bart Simpson one was damaged? No, because I had thrown it away. I was just so disgusted by the fact that it was okay. ruined. Okay. How do you figure I'm going to order her to pay you $800 well, if you don't have any pictures of how she damaged it? Now, do you have any pictures of how she damaged the Bullwinkle one? No, because that was one of the ones I just okay. threw away. I'm now, just $189 for a couch stool. What did she do with your couch stool? There's a picture. Oh, sorry. It's right here. Everything that was mine, she just decided to just toss out. It's all there. Did you call the police, ma'am, when you saw that your stuff had been removed? Well, yes, because I was scared that it was going to... May I see evidence of the police report where you described that all this happened? The reason why the police didn't take a report is because they said it was a civil dispute and that I would have to go to court. Can I just see evidence that you even called the police? Uh, do you need my phone? Or I well, don't, I don't know. know. Whatever my... you want to provide as evidence. Most times people have a police report. The, see, they, they could have a police, a police case report. number. There could be all kinds of stuff. I don't know if it would go all the way back. Because, you know, I got to tell you also that when you sit around suing for your classes and when you sue for twelve fifty for that color printer, it's, it was a thousand dollar color printer. It was really big, and then the cartridge that goes inside of it's a few hundred dollars. Yeah. And she left it outside for six months. No, Allie put it out there after it was in the guest room because she she rented out. Let the me guest see room. evidence that that color printer was purchased. Well, first of all, that it was that it was ever valued at twelve fifty. Do you have that? I don't have that because right. I bought okay. it so, so do you, under you understand, right? You come in here and you just say, I'm suing for 10 grand. You got to be able to prove the stuff you're suing for, right? Right. Okay. $2,836 precisely in artwork material. Explain that part of your suit. Well, I was um, just estimating how much paint went into. Just estimate. You have zero evidence of that loss, but you want me to order her to pay it to you, right? Okay. Um, do you have evidence that you contacted the police when you saw this stuff out there? Because she says, you moved that stuff out there, and you're trying to frame her on it. I, it doesn't date back to May 1st, so I guess not. So that's a no? You don't have evidence of it? OK. And if you're taking a picture of it in the alleyway, why are you suing for its value? Why don't you just put it back in? Because it had been pooped on by birds and dogs, and it's been peed on by cats. And it's, I didn't want to bring it back in because it was all thrown out there. Carelessly. Do you have evidence of any of the amounts that you're suing for for the items, like that that couch that I'm looking at in that no, alleyway I, I bought is them. worth 400 Do no, you? No. OK. Now, you had an audio you wanted me to listen to. Yes. This is an audio of the defendant? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Her? Her, because she's awful. <laughs> Maybe Allie's tired of doing dishes, taking out the trash, and paying, I am. And paying the bill. I am. I am. Not your finest moment. No, but no. That, that argument was one of many. We nothing, had. nothing can be worse than living in a situation where you are A, afraid of someone, B, this angry at someone, and C, in this kind of turmoil where your property's being taken off walls and or where you're stuck paying bills for someone else. She's not it's crazy. Bills. It's crazy. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. How do you vet somebody who um, rents from you or, or, or you're their roommate? How do you vet somebody to make sure they're on the up and up? I would check if they have a criminal record. Or How do you do that? Uh, go online, check their Facebook, check... Uh, White pages, you can check uh, even. What do they say on Facebook? Three years experience in marketing, four years in prison? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Going inside the courtroom. What ended up happening with all of this stuff? Did you end up leaving it all behind, the stuff that's? I ended up just tossing it because it got destroyed. OK. I find that you cannot prove $10,000 worth of damage. I find that if the, you know, that you can prove that your Beavis and Butthead stuff was taken off the wall. You have zero evidence of any of the other things that you're talking about. And if I were to find that there is damage, it is more than taken up um, for with the June rent. So I'm finding, in this case, in favor of the defendant. Thank you, Your Honor. So the plaintiff just can't prove she's out $10,000 worth of damages. And unfortunately, the judge finds for the defendant. How, how do you feel about what just happened? 
I feel defeated. I feel abused and defeated by someone awful who's just going to keep abusing more people. You're talking about the defendant. Yes. Well, you're out of there now. At least that's good, right? Yes. You know, I wanted to ask you a question. You're, you're doing pictures of Beavis and Butthead characters and so on. Can you do that legally? I mean, so many people are doing it, but also if you change little things about them, you know, it's like it doesn't violate the copyright. Well, all right. Listen, I'm sorry you couldn't prevail. That's it. Okay. The judge listens to you carefully. All right. Here comes Ms. Denig. I would assume you're glad this is all over. I'm so happy it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you will be held responsible now for all the damages in the house in any way? I don't see why. I mean, I've offered to go and repaint it for the landlord because yeah. he's just, you know, he's been through more crap with this than any of us, you know. Okay. So everybody's out? Yes. We are it's out. over. Yeah. Thank okay. God. Yeah. Goodbye. Good riddance. That's it. Right? Yes. <laughs> Good enough. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Harvey? Okay, Doug, my best advice to tenants who don't get along, sit down at the table and be the bigger person and say, look, we are not getting along. I don't want to continue this war. Let's figure out an exit strategy. It de-escalates things and it works most of the time.